So we recently found out that Apple's low power mode feature in macOS Monterey was able to extend the battery life of the M1 MacBook Air by two hours. But many of us, including myself, still use Intel Macs as our daily drivers. So I decided to run a few more tests to see if it's any different on Intel. Hey everyone, I'm Spot, and this is the macOS Monterey low power mode battery test on an Intel MacBook Pro. So this video is going to be split into three parts. We will run the exact same test started on the M1, a shortened version of it, and finally, a video export speed test in Final Cut Pro. I'm going to be running this test on my 16-inch MacBook Pro with an 8-core Intel Core i9, 16 gigs of RAM, and Radeon Pro 5500M graphics. Again, we will have two clips side by side with low power mode set to off on the left and on on the right. You can keep track of the battery levels in the top left and right corners. All settings will be kept the same from the last video, which means the display and keyboard brightness is set to 65%, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are switched on, and a few basic apps are open in the background. As we reach 45 minutes into this test, it appears that both have drained a similar amount of battery. As they continue to run, we start to see a bigger difference with low power mode holding an extra 5% at 90% compared to 85%. Reaching an hour and a half, the MacBook Pro with low power mode on now has 11% more with a total drain of 17 compared to 28. This also shows how efficient the Apple M1 chips are with the MacBook Air from the last battery test still having around 92% at around this time. Anyway, now let's speed up this video and see how they're doing after 2 hours. And it doesn't look too good for the MacBook Pro with low power mode off dropping all the way down to 36% after the first task. And yes, I did run this test multiple times and I almost got the exact same results every time. So now we're doing two hours of YouTube in full screen and another two in the default view. And at three hours, we only have 25% left with low power mode off. And after another 15 minutes, low power mode off is down to its last 20%. And at this point, we're almost one hour into streaming YouTube. You may notice that it's completely dark on the right because I filmed this video in the evening, but it shouldn't affect the brightness as auto display and keyboard brightness was switched off. Anyway, the MacBook Pro with low power mode off is almost down to its last 10%, and there it is, the low battery notification, whereas low power mode is still holding up pretty well with 46% remaining. So we're just going through a few YouTube videos here and just before we hit 4 hours we have drops to 4% on the left and 40% on the right, making a difference of 36%. Just after 4 hours and 5 minutes, low power mode off is down to its last 1% and around 6 minutes later at 4 hours and 11 minutes it called it a day and went to sleep with low power mode on still having 36% left. With 36%, it is able to last quite a while longer, with low power mode pushing through another hour of YouTube with still another 15% to spare. And at 5 hours and 33 minutes, it has dropped to 10%, showing its low battery notification almost 2 hours after running the same test with low power mode off. As it continues to stream YouTube videos, it slowly makes its way down to its last percent at 6 hours and 4 minutes, and 5 minutes later, it also calls it a day and goes to sleep after a total time of 6 hours and 9 minutes. So here are the results. Both didn't make its way to the FaceTime test, but we can see that throughout the two tasks, the battery drain was much less significant with low power mode on getting an extra 2 hours which can last you quite a while longer when out and about. Now we're moving on to the second test which is a shortened version, with only 1.5 hours of typing, 2 hours of YouTube and 1 hour of FaceTime. So we're starting off again with 100%, typing and auto-saving to OneDrive and Microsoft Word. We're going to run this test for an hour and a half, then we'll move on to YouTube. Reaching 32 minutes into this test, it appears that low power mode is actually draining quicker than with it switched off. This was the case in the three times I ran this test, but I'm pretty sure it's just what Apple does with their battery percentage calculations, or it could be the way the MacBook manages power consumption. 
Anyway, as we finish off one and a half hours of Word, we move on to the next task with the same amount of battery on both. After a total of 2 hours, we still have a very similar amount of battery left on both, with 47% on the left and 49% on the right. They're both streaming the exact same YouTube videos from the same playlist and on the same network. And as we reach 2 hours and 30 minutes, we can see that there isn't much of a difference between low power mode on and off while doing the tasks from this test. So let's let them run for a while longer to see if we start noticing any bigger differences. So just after 3 hours with low power mode off, it is on its last 10%, showing its low battery notification. And only a few minutes later, the same applies to the MacBook Pro with low power mode switched on. As we get closer and closer to 3.5 hours, they both drop down to their last 1% of battery. And there it goes, low power mode off was able to get 3 hours and 28 minutes of runtime, and low power mode on was able to get an extra 2 minutes, only running FaceTime for a few seconds. And here are the results. As you can see, we got very similar results with low power mode on, only getting an extra 2 minutes. These results are quite interesting when we compare it to the first test. And from this, we can actually conclude that low power mode works differently when we run different tasks for different lengths of time. So therefore, everyone's experience with low power mode will vary because of everyone's different use cases. And now for test 3, the final test. We're going to export the first two parts of this video to a 10GB 5K H.264 clip in Final Cut Pro. So let's see which one's faster and more battery efficient. So we're starting off again with 100% and this time I've added the export progress, fan speed and CPU temperature to the bottom left and right corners. Low power mode off started the export quicker and at the same time the CPU temperature went all the way up to 94.1 degrees, spinning the fans to max speed. The export is now 11% complete on the left and 7% on the right. After a little more than 7 minutes, we can see that low power mode off has drained 6% more, but we are 4% ahead in the export. The CPU temperature is about the same with low power mode on, but the fans are only spinning at 4400 RPM. Low power mode off is now 9% ahead in the export, but at the same time it has 9% less battery than with low power mode on. And at around 16 minutes, the fan spun up a little bit faster, probably to maintain a temperature of 75 degrees. It is currently 11% behind in the export, but it's still holding 9% more charge. Low power mode off is now halfway into the export, with around 75% left, and with the fan still at max speed. Less than 4 minutes later, low power mode also hits the 50% mark, but with an extra 5% and a slightly lower fan speed. And now we are 30 minutes into test 3, with 59% remaining on the left and 71 on the right but low power mode off is around 19% ahead in the export, finishing it in 33 minutes and 29 seconds, with 55% battery remaining. 5 minutes later, low power mode finished the export at 38 minutes and 32 seconds, with 62% left. And here are the results. Low power mode drained a bit less battery, but it took a while longer to complete the export, However, the CPU temperature didn't get as high, which means the fans could run slower, making it a bit quieter while exporting the video. Anyway, this concludes the low power mode battery and speed tests on an Intel MacBook Pro. We got some pretty interesting results from these tests, but in all three, low power mode was able to extend the battery life in some way. The best way to find out whether low power mode works for you or not is to try it out, as everybody's usage is different in the real world. Depending on what you prefer, it can be enabled when on battery, plugged in, or all the time. For me, low power mode is on when I'm unplugged, and switched off when I'm charging, as I prioritise battery life when I'm out and about, but performance when I'm working at home. If you have any comments, please leave them down below, and let me know how you use low power mode on your device. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like, and consider subscribing for more videos like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.